just play a clip from Danny Dyer <laughs> on Good Evening Britain. He's now the people's politician. Nice. This is what he told us on Thursday night. This whole Brexit thing, when, when, when mm. you know, you're judging them on, on, on Brexit, they don't know nothing about it. Who knows about Brexit? It's like this mad riddle that no-one knows mm. what it is, right? So what's happened to that <laughs> David Cameron oh. who called it on? <laughs> Let's be fair. Oh. I think what? you're referring no, to no, a no, former no, Prime no, Minister. No. Yeah, but why, how comes he can scuttle off? He called all this on. Mm. Yeah. yeah. He, he has no regrets. Where's he, where is he? He's in Europe, in Nice, with his trotters <laughs> up, yeah? Where is the geezer? I think he should be held account for it. You know he should be held you know account it's a, for it. It's a valid point. A lot of people do feel... <laughs> well, I want to clarify, that second beep was not aimed at me, by the way, right. contrary to social media speculation. But, Sir Vince... He's got a point, hasn't Through he? the crudeness of the rhetoric, perhaps, yeah. there was a point that, actually, I think, he articulated the view of many millions of people in this country right now, which is, it is a mad riddle to most of the British public what is going on. They thought that the referendum was quite straightforward. It's turned out to be hideously complicated. Yeah, I mean, there was, there was a, a, an insight there from the East End of pub, you know, that, that nobody quite knows what Brexit actually means, and that's, that's the problem. And that's why we're saying, you know, when you get to the end of the process, whatever Theresa May achieves, and, you know, she's doing her best to limit the damage. You know, whatever she achieves, we put it back to the public and say, is this what you really wanted? Or do we stay in the European Union after all? And but when that have seems we done a that good before? way to when resolve it. When have we it. done that before with any referendum? Well, this isn't really a referendum country. We, we don't solve our problems in that way. But there's but no the, precedent, is the, there, for having a referendum and then within, you know, two years of the referendum result, we then say, well, did you, do you agree with this, this or not? Well, the Swiss do it all the time, and if, if you're a kind of country that, that resolves big, complicated issues in that way, then that is a way to bring it to a conclusion. The pure form of Brexit, which they believed was on the ballot for the referendum, has now been taken over by Remainers like Theresa May to actually become a, such a diluted version. It's not really Brexit. Well, I think the, the problem for Theresa May is that at the Lancaster House speech, she committed herself to taking us out of the single market and the custom Absolutely. unit. She didn't need to do that. And ever since then has been caught in an embarrassing position that the, the extreme Brexiteers are Corbyn, demanding that she leave. But, Sir Vince, Jeremy Corbyn we had on Good Evening Britain and we got him to clarify his position as leader of the Labour Party, it was basically the same as Theresa May's. Out of the customs mm. union, out of the single market, and no second people's vote. So, I mean, you can't really put a touch paper between them. I, exactly, and I'm glad you actually got him to clarify it. Mm. Some of us have been having yeah. more right. difficulty with that. But, yeah, he and Theresa May are in exactly the same, same position, and I think it would actually be helpful for everybody. But are they not respecting, with respect to you, mm. are they not respecting the democratic reality of the Brexit referendum? And are you the only party, actually, that is refusing publicly to accept the result? We accept that the referendum happened. You don't really. What, you you, want, you no. want to have it all over again. You well, want you to replay. Accept, you accept the fact no, we that it we happened. We accept that it's happened. <laughs> we want to know what the results of the negotiation are, and then we want to put it to... to let the public have the final say. So, Bernard Jenkin, can you solve the mad riddle uh, as Danny Dyer described it. I mean... Yes, uh, uh, let me have a go in 30 seconds, which is, uh, we voted to leave. It's actually quite easy to leave. Uh, and the European Union has already offered a free trade deal with no tariffs and no quantitative restrictions. They offered that in December, Donald Tusk's presidential statement. And um, we could have that quite easily. What makes it very difficult if we're trying to stay half in and half out? It's also very damaging for the United Kingdom, because if we're half in and half out... Do you remember William Hague used to say, uh, we want to be um, in Europe but not run by Europe? We will be out of Europe but still run by Europe. In the worst of all possible worlds, we won't be able to do the free trade deals we could do with the United States of America and Japan, uh, and other countries which are very keen to do free trade deals with us as soon as we're free to do so. Charles Powell, who was obviously one of Margaret Thatcher's top aides, said about Boris Johnson, uh, she would have sacked Boris immediately mm. for gross disloyalty and incompetence. It's part of the problem here with Theresa May that she simply has not got charge of this miscreant cabinet, and they're all basically going rogue. Why has she not fired somebody like Boris Johnson, who's been behaving in a completely insubordinate manner. Well, so has um, the Chancellor of the Exchequer and so has Greg Clark. You know, they're doing their own thing. Uh, Margaret was very ideological 
and, and very driven. Uh, Teresa is very practical. She's a conciliator. She works with people. And let's face it, after the general election, which didn't go well for us, everyone thought she'd last a few months and she'd be out. And here she still is, two years later, a year later. And um, I expect she'll be there much longer than everybody thinks because she's got guts.